Good morning, complete men. This morning, we are actually going to go through an exercise. It's an exercise we do with the men that we coach. Uh, it's a very important exercise because it outlines something very specific. So I want you to close your eyes and picture yourself. Well, first of all, if you're driving, pull over and do this if you have the opportunity. Otherwise, wait till you get to the office or home um, before you perform this exercise. So that's the one caveat there. But close your eyes and picture yourself just standing there in a room. And I want you to picture your wife leaning up against you on one side, your right side of your body. Now I want you to pick picture one of your children leaning up against you on the left side of your body and one of your other children leaning against you from the back. So they have their hands on your back and leaning on you. And now you have your mother right in front of you with her hands on your chest, leaning on you. And then you have your father. Now he can go anywhere he wants. He's right there with his, with your mother. So he's got his hands on your chest as well, leaning on you. Now you have your employees. So however many employees report to you or however many employees you feel responsible for, now they're leaning on you. Pick a side, whatever side. Now you have your sibling leaning on you. Now you have the tax guy leaning on you. You have the banker leaning on you. All of these people are leaning on you. And what does that create? One of the core exercises, you can actually open your eyes here, but I'm hoping that if you've done this exercise properly, you are feeling the pressure of other people on you. What ends up happening is we as men, we take on the pressure from other people, the responsibility from other people, and that creates what we call people pressure. And some of us, I've had people Men just freeze, completely freeze by going through this exercise because they feel so suffocated by the pressures of other people in their lives. Because that is how life works. Many of us have these people pressures that are containing us in one particular spot. Now, if you've if you felt this, you felt constricted, you felt restrained, you felt like you couldn't move, right? You couldn't you couldn't move your body in in that space within that room, and that's how a lot of guys feel is they feel that they can't explore. They can't do th- certain things because they have all of these responsibilities and pressures from other people on them. It's almost like a burden. And as a result, they don't live to their full potential. Now, all of this is an illusion. Hmm, really interesting, isn't it, when we think about it from that perspective? Although people are counting on you, they are not a burden. They are not a responsibility. You choose to take that on. You choose to allow other people to put that pressure on you. Or you put that pressure on yourself. You create. So the reason why we we did this exercise is because we took you through a very visual exercise where it seemed like other people are putting pressure on you. But in reality, what ends up happening is it's a virtual exercise. You do this to yourself. Every single day, you are constantly doing that yourself. You are creating that pressure on yourself every single day. You have a choice of saying whether I want that pressure or not. You have the choice of saying, I just don't want that today. And you get to pick and choose because a lot of times what ends up happening when we feel overwhelmed is because we, f- we take on all the pressures at once. And that's not reality. You don't have to take everything on at once. The, the magic about life is that you live in, in it in the present moment. And all those people are not leaning on you right now physically, are they? And if you feel that way, it's because you've mentally put that pressure on yourself. So I hope this exercise has helped you in some way to show you that you don't have to feel all of those pressures and to show you those pressures that you have had unconsciously on your mind and it's brought it to your conscious awareness now so that you can actually consciously deal with it. So your mind shot for today, you can actually go through this exercise one more time. I highly encourage you to do that. And once you wake up, I want you to 
or open your eyes, I want you to write down all of those pressures, all of those people pressures that you felt when you did this exercise properly. If you do this effectively, it'll take you a couple of minutes because there's people out there that you may not have thought of right away that are deep in your unconscious and they will come through. So that's your mind shot. Redo this exercise in a very quiet, personal space of yours where you can do it without interruptions and then immediately after, write down all of those people pressures and identify what in reality is true and what you are putting on yourself. Once you can clear that up, you can start to have the freedom of moving around, being yourself, expanding yourself within that room and not being restricted or constricted. That will give you the freedom to really live to your full potential. I hope this helps and I wish you the very best. Take care.